one. It's been a bit of a bumpy year this year, so let's get back on the roller coaster. Let's talk about this great grand conjunction, the 21st of December 2020, aka the Solar Flash. The biggest question is, is how do we know this is really going to happen this year? Let's just break it down a little bit. Well, on December the 21st, 2020, on our earthly plane, it's the Saturn and Jupiter in Aquarius conjunction. And the last time this happened was around 615 years ago. It's leaving the old Piscean world into the new age of Aquarius. So it's really important right now to let go of the old world and these old belief systems because the world is changing. Mother Earth's frequency of the planet is changing. We must let go of the old ways and to be all prepared on December the 21st, 2020 is the end to a new beginning. It's the reset. The flash represents a massive activation of DNA. It manifests in different ways for different people. Space is being held for those who are ready to turn inwards and heal. The flash is a reminder to hold space individually and be able to process the activations. As more are aware of this event, it will become more real. We each need to do the inner work so we can experience this leap into consciousness. So as we increase our frequency, we will be able to access various aspects of our energy as we choose. This will come from a place of awareness, not ego. This is all about masculine and feminine energy. We are in a reality where masculine energy is more prominent. Ego thinking, mind control. So as we shift into the 5D frequencies, our divine feminine energy begins to manifest. It represents beauty, intuition, sensuality. This is what you are seeing in the art. It's a representation of the divine feminine energy that is becoming more prominent here on earth as we ascend. So as we increase our frequency, we will be able to access various aspects of our energy as we choose. This will come from a place of awareness, not ego. We are both masculine and feminine, and we will be able to hold space for both to manifest. And as I said in numerous videos, this is not about the end of the world. This is an end to a new beginning. This is a reset, a reset into a new coming golden age. We're letting go of the old Piscean world, moving into the new age of Aquarius, into the age of truth, discovery, and the lifting of the veil. And in this new age, there will be so many new changes because we'll be in a new frequency, a new earth. Meat eating, destruction to the earth will be a no-go. Reconnecting with each other again is about bringing love back to this world. 